Hello everyone, Adrian here with another Dawn of War 3 replay. Spawn the south side as the biggest and the strongest we have. It's actually a pair of J uh, Japanese or Korean characters. I can't really know who it is versus the, his opponent, DK Spirit as the Space Marines. I'm going to go ahead and just keep the Space Marine uh, player tab up so we can see what's in the orbital relays, what's being built in there, so sort of so we get a general idea of what's potentially up to come. And why don't I hear any of that? It seems like this volume's a little bit too quiet. Just one moment. Audio master. That should be good. <clears throat> We got some boys coming on out. I'm just going to take a quick cover of the doctrines and elites. We do got storm boys with uh, suicide bomber trucks. Uh, Zap noggin tower recall. When Zap noggin is deployed, Ludus can teleport to the nearest own tower. And uh, Goraguts is healing Wog. Over here, we do have uh, stuck in when knobs die. They gain stacking bonuses, surviving squad members, so last man standing. Healing scrap as well. Tons of bombs. Shooters, shooters can have. Looted sick bombs will periodically throw their own. We do have the initial engagement of the boys versus the servitor. I think the servitor's gonna win. <laughs> Over here, we do got the venerable dreadnought, which uh, assault marines perform low sweep. Does not need the venerable dreadnought to be deployed. Jonathan, Jonah, Orion. We have the Stonewall standard, as well as Death from Above from the kill team. Got the improved listening post, the fire on the move, and uh, uh, the terminators. Uh, salt marines can throw frags. <coughs> these boys are getting sort of ripped apart by these bolters. So we do got the one squad being type of melee. We do have a frag grenade and he immediately pulled back once the frag grenade was thrown. I'm not sure if that was planned or not, but very nice nonetheless. He's going to be running away, and with the ability to move and shoot, he's taking no damage, preventing any running away engagements less preferable. We do got some shooters here. We do got even a forward requisition generator over here. We do got the Gretchens do, in fact, spot this. The Gretchens are slowly picking away with their bolters or handguns, whatever they use. What does the orcs use? Whatever they can scrap weapons, really? Do have some salt marines coming by orbital relay? Very nice. A very mass eco by by the uh, space marine player. We do have this resource generator starting to be slowly hurt by these Gretchens. It will take an eternity to actually get it destroyed. We do have a wild concert being initiated, and that will make a short end to this resource generator we have a forward doctrinal chapel we have power for the orc so the orc players desire any power rather than over requisition now we do got two squads of assault marines not i mean tactical marines however that is not enough firepower i want to deal with ard boys as well as some regular boys and some shooters, so they're just way outgunned, basically. These boys will rip apart that server. He knew where it was, thanks to Gretchen. And do have some Gretchen over here as well. These hacks are starting to move forward. This power generator is very exposed. Though he does have some forces nearby, but it looks like they're heading back home. Oh, but however, we do got a servitor's uh, spawn to drop in a salt terminator. But we do have the storm boys to drop upon them. So we still have the user of low sweep to escape the previous engagement. They still have their long jump. But he will actually just get ripped apart. Servitor will claim the shield generator. You got power generator being reclaimed. So overall, one generator down for each player. You got another requisition generator over here, as well as a power generator here. 
do not see any upgrade for it. A bit, but a bit early for it, but early eco. A bit bold, but Cammy really pays off if you can manage to pull it off. And at this point, knowing the Orc Flyer not going super aggressive, you can probably pull it off. May see a watchtower coming up here soon. We got this servitor just decapping the elite point generator. Nothing too significant. He probably can task aggression to do it if he's not planning to make usage of it anytime soon. Looks like do got a wog concert being initiated. Not many units are nearby for it. <clears throat> Another power generator going down. There's three squads attack marines. The assault marine is completely dead, but he has rebuilt another one, as well as a heavy bolter terminator. A devastator. Excuse me, I need to get some. My throat's very dry. <clears throat> That's much better. Will stick bombs come out? I think those were the automatic throw ones. Yeah, I think those were in fact the automatic throw ones. You got these boys started ripping apart these generators. We probably could potentially see this doctrinal chapel goes down. But if he gets that, that's actually quite nice. We do have the Marines now heading over here in order to get a proper engagement instead of going trying to go through the shooters. Shooters over there on a very good intercept course. We perhaps do see Jonah Orion being deployed out first. But we do not. In fact, he will deploy Jonah Orion, but not before the standard goes down, so he does not make usage of this doctrinal ability. Slight oversight, I would say. Doctrinal Chapel is almost dead, but it's not. Gretchen's will decap this point. Oh, wasn't there a resource generator? I'm not sure. Got server slowly picking away against this power generator. It's still just power for the Orc player. No requisition. <coughs> We do in fact have even point generator, seeing he has a venerable dreadnought. He needs the extra lead points to get that out in a timely manner. Oh, there goes a lot of auto frags on that servitor, and he will just continue to stall this army as this force starts to move forward. We'll lose another power generator. And requisition must be a bit on the low side for the orc player. We got 200 marine. Oh no, the orc player has plenty of requisition. His force looks a little bit smaller than his opposing force. Can't really say who went out in this engagement. The frag grenades from either side will play a big role. We do got the some abilities from the Ojona Orion. It looks like these shooters will get ripped apart, so no frags for these orc player. He might as well should throw them if it's going to get ripped apart. <clears throat> so we finally get some observation posts coming on down, so the requisition generators will, and full power generators really won't get ripped apart. Bombard's rule will rip apart this attack marine squad, just give it enough time. Another power generator going down, a constant power harassment from the space marine player. Got a wog concert being initiated, this will give him quite a boon of a power, but... And we do got even heavy bolters inside the shield generator. That's very nice. A Space Marine player may be able to close it out now. He has a significant advantage at the moment. The boys' hut, or no, is that the Daka hut? Whatever hut that was, it will get destroyed. Automatic sick grenades will be thrown out. Our boys are charging on in. There are assault marines there for close quarters combat. The devastators will in fact be destroyed. We do got the assault marines as well as Jonah Orion getting stunned with that shot. 
As we do see some stick grenades. We haven't seen usage of the manual throwing stick grenades, just only the autos. And the art boys will in fact get rid of the park. But we do have knobs out. Now this is a heavy engagement. Knobs are incredibly tanky and incredibly strong. Do in fact have a taunt there. A bit early, I would say. I think that's why the orc player is so heavy on power. He was doing a fast tech, trying to get the the knobs as well as the trucks out as soon as possible. Storm Boys has sustained quite a bit of damage. They probably have they can get one more suicide bomber, and that's about it. This observation post has been spotted if you haven't needed to scout that out before. We do have Kill Team Iron Maw now available. Axe was thrown from the knobs. I think I'm not exactly sure who threw that axe. Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah, the chopper toss. Is that a doctrinal ability? I don't remember seeing that used all too often. You got the knockback from the of the knobs in the middle of their taunt, so they're very nice. And knobs are trying to escape out. They sustained huge amounts of fire. Saving the squad is actually quite nice because it's a very expensive squad. We try to use the ricochet shot from. Jonah there to take out the knob, but he was unable to. Dark player is still severely damaged. Uh, he just... Quite a bit, really. Knobs do cost 200 power, so that's why he's such a, going for such a heavy power build. But now we do have observation posts being set up. Do got massive amount of... Resources for the Space Marine player. I do actually have a rocket launcher for the Kill Team Iron Maw, which I can see that. It is pretty late in the game. He's probably expecting a truck. You got War Boss Gore Guts out in the field, so now we do got a substantial frontline unit for the Orc player. I just heard a Stronghold Tier 2 now being upgraded, or has been upgraded. The Orc player has been dealing with superior technology. Relatively. Anyways, uh, tech level for, this for quite a good amount of this game. I say relatively, because clearly Orcs just have whatever they can salvage together as technology. How on earth they get around anywhere, I'm not sure. Orcs are the comedic relief faction of the Warhammer universe. <laughs> we do have some salt marines here. We do got some tack marines coming in for a flank. Vortex grenade comes on out, but we do got the stick grenades coming out and knocking back those forces. Stonewall is preventing movement. Perhaps he should use the Gorgux's grappling claw. I think he may be able to escape it. And these shooters will get ripped apart. Gorgut could try to do the spin to win to deal a substantial amount of damage. Still the orc knobs here. I think they're about ready to explode. Orc knobs plus Gorguts are doing quite a bit of damage, but we do have the sh void shield generators coming up from the uh, standard. The orc knobs are starting to lose quite a bit of units. Orgots could go back and re-engage, try to save the knobs, potentially. He would be able to escape out, but the Spinning Claw is down. The grappling Claw is not. He will actually get a nice little slow there, allowing the Orc knobs to escape. We do have two of these wall concerts going off and making usage of the healing ability of the doctrinal which i will believe it does in fact replace models as well which will save out on on the uh what's it called the requisition to replenish these guys look they're fully healed without paying a single point in requisition very nice now he can immediately launch a counter-attack without paying any additional income 
may actually bring this orc player back in the game. His opponent did sustain some damage and some losses, but he still has superior economy. Bone Boys will engage his turret. Hopefully, he can take it out, no problem. Now he will be eyeing to hit this doctrinal chapel. It has not been repaired up, so it can be quickly go down. That will deny the forward reinforcements. Do got units being dropped on in. That is, of course, a death storm drop pod as well as no team armor. He may in fact just upgrade them with flamers. He has not upgraded them yet. That's me just going to keep them unupgraded because he wants a rocket launcher but does not want to lose uh, any infantry damage. <clears throat> Overall, those two drops came on, came on in doing significant amount of damage. And the Death Storm drop pod actually doing quite a bit of work. Gorguts does in fact go down. He tried to taunt with the knob, but he will lose a knob also. Yeah. <clears throat> Another blog concert here. Trying to heal up these forces. We do have some tank busters. They do not have scrapped up. So no squigs. Little, little squigs and go forward and lick people and then they explode looks like the ore player is starting to claim some more resource generators i think it's position up he still has not built a power here but perhaps maybe it's queued up This resource generator is actually being upgraded. The, or the Space Marine player is going to be sustaining massive economy. This point is upgraded as well. This elite point generator, well, of course, can't be upgraded. I can't even select it for some odd reason. Or can I? Unless I am selecting it. Another WOG concert is being initiated, trying to finish off healing up these units, or perhaps just to hype them up. And now we do have this Assault mar oh, Tactical Marine ass uh, Assault, which will include some last gun devastators for anti-vehicle or anti-heavies. We got a large ranged force from the Orc player. We do got a Dreadnought being dropped on in, and that is a massive knockback. We'll get a nice stun in there as well, knocking back a large amount of these forces. Sustaining huge amounts of losses. There is no WOG concert available, which is a bit problematic because he needs the reinforcements and healing. And now this resource generator will be assaulted. In fact, has not fully upgraded his resources, so the orc player's economy has just been abysmal. You have some knobs available. You have some tank busters here for this dreadnought. It is not the. Or is it the venerable? No, it's not the venerable dreadnought. We do got a weird boy zap noggin out. The listening post is in fact down. The power generator is next. He's eyeing to destroy the economy, but he's going to lose a terminator perhaps over it. The knobs are coming in for a taunt. No, he's just going to swarm Jonah Orion. There goes the terminator, but both resource generators are in fact down. Back Marines here, so they still have the frag grenades. So if any assaulting forces come forward, they will have throw. They can't throw a barrage of frags. Now we do have the venerable dreadnought out on the field which will be incredibly strong push resulting in pretty much the death of the orc player i mean the orc player has been on back foot this entire game hasn't sustained any good economy his economy has kept on being destroyed so overall very good play from space marine player and not just because space marines are on the strong side in fact, he's been making very little usage of the 
if these impact these assets may make very little impact in relative comparison to the advanced economy. Venerable Dreadnought is out in the field. Looks like he has the Chaos Marine skin on it. I think it's very black. I'm not exactly sure. The knobs is very low in health, so he's going to need to follow that back. Storm Marines may be trying to eye destroy it. Storm Boys are here, but it's getting ripped apart by the heavy plasma gun of the Venerable Dreadnought. Storm Boys will jump out. The Assault Marines are going to be ripping apart this force. Weird Boy does have access to a teleport, doesn't he? Or is it... Yes, there it goes. His Wong Cod's Wog Concert will be initiated, which will provide some valuable healing to these forces, but won't be enough to a full heal. But there is another one if he so chooses. Perhaps we we'll activate that one before the assault. In fact, a number of these towers are off cooldown. You got a banner being called on down, which is fully upgraded. So we'll in fact see a passive healing, which is a significant uh, advantage for this early standard coming down. While contest has been initiated, we do got some squigs coming forward. One of the squigs do in fact get gunned down. One of them will blow up on one, and this one will blow up on the other, but doing all minor effect. His forces need to engage. Perhaps maybe go and just lose this uh, tower. He already initiated the wall concert. But if he's going to just uh, sort of camp the shield generator and make it a very powerful hard point. We have a unit being dropped on down. It looks like another dreadnought. He has a lot of anti vehicle damage available. It looks like the dreadnought was, in fact, silenced there. More dreadnoughts coming on down. So this is a substantial armed force, but there's a lot of tank busters here. You got a orbital uh, strike coming on in. He needs to reposition it. He actually lost capture it for a moment. It looks like the shield generator, I think the shield itself is actually down. Sustaining quite a bit of fire there. Shield generator is not taking damage from the orbital strike. But does get decaptured and... Now actually completely removed. Oh, very nice. I'm not exactly sure what decaptured it. Maybe it was the Storm Boys? Well, the Storm Boys are here. I'm not exactly sure what decaptured them. We got Kill Team Iron Maw. They will in fact throw out the Vortex Grenade. Which will slow the assault as well as more squigs coming on in doing significant more amount amount more damage. Shield Generator is actually just up now. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Brought it down. I saw the Weird Boy standing in it. Something being built. We do have the shield generator being de garrisoned once again, so sustaining additional damage. This time, I think the shield generator just may have just gone down the shield itself. We do have the spin to win, eyeing to cover the advance of, advance of his forces because it will block projectiles. We do have got another drop coming on in. There's Jonah Orion, but we'll get hit by the Grappling Claw there. Weird Boy needs to get out of there. The Art Boys could, well, it's just the boys actually. But they do got to teleport uh, back. We got a Wong co Wog concert here for a rally as well as for healing, providing much needed defense if it goes off. And in fact, he was just going to fall back. He's sustained quite a bit of losses himself, the Space Marine player. Space Marine player has significant economy, so perhaps maybe, yes, we do in fact see Predator Destructors, or this is Annihilators. I always get those two mixed up. On the field, which will give him quite a bit of anti-infantry damage. He does not have to worry about enemy vehicles. Big tracks, anyways, are not exactly looted tanks. Looted tanks. You got a nice shot there, getting quite a bit of powerful and mobilize. The Gretchen's here will be clo uh, cloaked there. And do in fact have power swords for the Salt Marines now. 
More Dreadnoughts coming forward. We'll miss the stun on Gorguts. Gorguts also does have the Grappling Claw. <laughs> the Wall Concert. I think this that is a freshly built one. This one's shortly off cooldown as well. Overall, the Space Marine player still has much superior economy. York player, this point's not even upgraded. This point is not upgraded I, as well. So York player just does not have the economy. I wonder what's... Do we have a pile of guns? Yes, we do in fact have a pile of guns. Nothing's upgraded as well. Space Marine player has... We saw Power Sword, so I'm just assuming he has massive amount of upgrades as well. He has vehicle health completely upgraded. Vehicle damage is on the way. Infantry damage upgraded by one, so it's not completely upgraded. For, but it still has significantly more amount of upgrades. There goes this resources that are very valuable for the Orc player. And very easy to kill. The stone wall comes on up, which will lock in quite a bit of his forces, but it isn't going to do all too much. Or guts will initiate the spin to win. If he starts getting in the middle of this group, he can start blocking the projectiles, but he does get stunned by the venerable dreadnought. Knobs go down. Gore guts is very close to death. Luckily, the walk has still been initiated, so he can run away quite reasonably. He still has a... See, so he activated that one, so it doesn't look... Oh, this this one here looks like it's able. Oh, yeah. We do also have the standard now down, using this as a heal. Very powerful. We do got a tank now out on the field, as well as multiple Dreadnoughts on the drop pods of to be available. York player just only has a handful of tank busters. Playing for an attack, but he's going to receive attack, and he will lose a number of these wall towers. And he can't be affording to lose anything. He does not have the economy to support it. No team armor plus plus dre uh, dreadnought has been deployed. Well, there's a dreadnought there, right in the middle of the tank busters. We'll do a nice stun. We'll not get the weird boy. Another dreadnought being dropped on in. This is a really armored force here. He is losing a number of his of these dreadnoughts, but he's destroying all of these towers. Well, there's a pile of scraps from to make usage of. In fact, destroying the scrap would be incredibly powerful at this moment. Her is now getting some damage in. The weird boy is still alive. Gorgots is down. The storm boys, they don't last very long after the initial phases of the game. The Daka hut goes down as well. As the resources go down, that's pretty much the end of the orc player. Word vote guy goes down, and this is pretty much the end of the replay. I'm destroying the scrap, very nice. Almost all the scrap destroyed, at least all the big piles. I think these are still medium piles. But here goes, the orc player decides to surrender, which is very necessary. He's lost. This is Adrian saying thank you for watching and signing off.